In today's video, I want to introduce a new version of RSI that considerably performs better than the original RSI. To add this amazing indicator to our chart, here we click on indicators and we search relative trend index. This one which is written by Zeirman if I'm pronouncing the name correctly. To have a comparison with the old RSI, we also add the original RSI, this one, Relative Strength Index, which is a built-in indicator in TradingView platform. All right, uh, this is the new RSI, Relative Trend Index, and this is the original RSI, which you're probably familiar with. If uh, you have already worked with RSI, so you know that it's a powerful indicator to identify change of price movements and also overbought and over sold conditions but as you know it has a drawback and it's that RSI generates false signals when the trend is strong for example during this downtrend you can see how many times we got oversold reading from RSI and these are happening before a reversal happened this one was a correct signal but these signals were false and after them we had just a pullback during this downtrend in other words they just showed a temporary weakness which happened in this downtrend not a complete change in the direction Direction. And this drawback causes traders to make a mistake and take these signals without further analyzing the market for their trading decisions. But this indicator, RTI, has a wonderful ability to adapt to the market volatility. In other words, it also considers volatility of the market and minimizes the short-term fluctuations that are happening in the market. RTI combines both of trend following and mean reversion characteristics and because of this, it responds to the price action very well. RSI is a powerful indicator, but RTI considerably performs better in identifying trends and overbought and oversold areas. This green line is RTI line and this blue line is RTI's moving average with length of 20. In this video, the focus is on RTI line. Similar to RSI line, when RTI line is above 50, it shows that the market is in an uptrend and when it's below 50, it shows that the market is in a downtrend. Here in this uptrend and downtrend, because we have small pullbacks RSI line stayed consistently above or below 50 during this downtrend and uptrend but in times that we have a deeper pullback for example during this uptrend RSI goes below 50 and again goes above 50 and this is repeated on each pullback and generating many false signals you can clearly see how many false signals happened up to this point where finally it went below 50 actually this final center line crossover was the correct signal on this reverse point of the market to a downtrend and you can see that after that RSI stayed below 50 but now during this period where RSI is generating many false signals look at this indicator you can see that during this uptrend RSI was continuously generating false signals I mean these crossing down below 50 level but in this period RTI was staying above 50 it started crossing down below 50 around here which was actually the reversal point of the market we didn't have center line crossover during this uptrend. RTI line stayed above 50 consistently, but RSI no, it performed very bad because we had larger pullbacks during this uptrend. All right, another point about RTI is that the further it moves away from 50 level, the stronger the trend. So when the trend is strong and the market is experiencing an extended move, we can have RTI like this, which has remained above 80 level in green color, showing strong and extended advancing of the price and when declining of the price is strong and extended RTI line can remain below 20 and it becomes red like this but in the same period you can see that RSI is just giving us the impression that the market is in oversold condition or here it's giving us signals on overbought condition but the market was continuing its trend and this indicator is perfectly showing us this having RTI above this level or below this level is also sign of oversold and and overbought conditions but we take actions only when RTI line goes back to the middle part after being above this level or below this level because for example as long as we have RTI line below this level like this it shows strong and extended declining of the price and after this situation when it goes back to the middle part it can show that a change may happen in the direction of the trend similarly after having this situation when it goes back to the middle part it can show a possibility that a change in the direction of the 
market may happen. Please pay attention that I said it's just a possibility because this can be just a pullback, especially in times that we have larger pullbacks like here in this part of the chart. During the pullbacks, we can have these situations. So any decision regarding the possibility that, for example, this could be a signal about trend reversal, it needs more analysis and confirmation of other tools. Just like any other tools in technical analysis, you should never take your trading decisions only based on this indicator and you must use it in conjunction with other tools and aspects of technical analysis. All right, that's it. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and leave a comment for me. I'll answer your questions as soon as possible. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell so you get the notifications of my new videos. See you guys in next video and good luck with your trading.